Alright, what up? Let's give her the gems. Okay. Now, one thing that I noticed that I've been grinding my gears for a while now, I've been wanting to speak on this for a while. I just never got around to actually making a video until now. Um, interracial relationships. It's overwhelming at this point. I see it everywhere I go. And to be honest with you, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I don't understand how somebody, say a black person from a whole nother cultural background, traditions and everything like that can get with somebody else from a whole nother cultural background, a whole nother, um, just a whole nother type of everything. Belief system, spirituality, all that, and just come together and, you know, meet meet in the middle, if you want to call it that. I don't understand that. Like, I think a lot of interrelation, interracial relationships is based upon finances, um, conveniency, you know, connections, and just overall perception of the public. Because... I'll give you an example. When you see a lot of athletes make it to whatever league and they start to become famous, they, they almost automatically go with a white woman. Why? Because it's like social status. It's like you look like you're more than what you actually are. Like, you know, I guess the white woman make make you look like you're a little bit above the average black person, which is bullshit to me. Um, this is an overwhelming part of our reality right now that a lot of people are not talking about because a lot of them are involved in interracial relationships. They're with somebody else from a whole other race, and you can't tell them shit about it because they feel like some of them will say, you know, they've dealt with their race and it hasn't worked out for them. Some of them were married for a number of years and the relationship didn't go well or they had a bad divorce um, and they just never want to look back on, on their own race of a woman. So they go to another race. Now, a lot of black women say, black men, date outside their race because they don't want to deal with the strong spirit of a black woman. Do I see that a lot? Yeah, I do. I believe I believe that's a part of it. You know, I believe that's a part of it. I don't think that's the majority part of it, but that that's real. You know, that's that's realistic. That does go on. Um but a lot of black men that date outside the race is looking for some type of, it's like a level that they're looking to be, some type of social status in society they want to get to that they feel like they can't get to with a regular black woman. Because we know society suppresses black women in the black race, period. So they feel like if they pop up with a Vicky, a white woman, it automatically boosts boosts their um their credibility or whatever else up there, like they're not the average black person. And I'm gonna tell you right now, when you get with a white woman, I'm talking to black dudes right now. When you get with a white woman or whatever other race, and you have a kid, you reproduce yourself, and the kid come out looking. Spanish or some other race it doesn't look black or white it looked somewhere in between or oftentimes it looked like a Spanish person how do you feel how do you look at that your your son or your daughter and really feel connected when it doesn't look like you in any type of way
Now people could say, oh, looks doesn't matter, looks doesn't matter. Looks doesn't matter? When it comes to your kid, looks doesn't matter? Who the fuck has a kid and the kid doesn't look anything like them? And it doesn't bother them. Even when you know it's yours. Even when you go and do a DNA test and it's 100% yours. The kid doesn't look anything like you. That don't bother you at all? They might grow up with some traits of you, of course, you know, personality-wise and things like that. But you go out in public and you got to tell people that this is my kid. The mother is white. That's why it came out so light-skinned because... Your dark skin, you know, your son is hella light skin, and you have to explain why he look like that. And when the mother go out, she got to explain why the kid look half black, because it's obvious. And that's that's kind of petty on a, on a level. That's kind of a little petty, but I'm just I'm just looking at it from my perspective, you know. A lot of these rappers, they get famous. None of them fuck with black chicks at all. Even some of these pro-black dudes don't even like black chicks. Tariq Nasheed. He's married. His baby mother, I'm not sure if he's married, but his his baby mother is half white. Her mother is white. And she looks biracial, very much so. But see, Tariq then then said out of his mouth that he'll fuck um, Brooke Hogan, Hulk Hogan's daughter, while promoting that he's he's pro-black, while promoting his Hidden Colors DVDs and, and shit like that. In the midst of promoting pro-blackness, you admit that you would fuck white girls with no problem. You see Phil from the Advice Show. They just pulled pulled his file on him that he's been um his woman right now is some type of Spanish looking type of you know, our skin is real white, but her nationality would be like Spanish. Latin. And he sits there and talk about black dudes that swirl, quote unquote swirl, which is to mix with a white person, which is to, you know, have sex with a white person if you're black. That's like, that's swirling. While sitting there talking about dudes that, that, that does that, he's married to a woman that's not even, that's not black. The hypocrisy is strong. In the YouTube conscious community, man. Or the pro-black community. It's real strong over there. You know what I'm saying? But why the fuck can't we stick to our own damn race? Why can't black chicks value black men the way a lot of us black men value them? Because me personally, that's my preference. That's my favorite. Black women always have been my favorite. To be honest, I like them darker. Not dark, 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 dark. But I like them darker skin. I only really like the light skin, the high tone, high skin color. I like the the toned down, darker color. And that's always been my favorite from a kid till now. You know, so somebody like me seeing... A lot of black dudes going the white way, having a white chick on their arm and shit like that. It looks it looks kind of odd to me. It looks off. It really does. And y'all are reproducing. Like it's like another race. When you look at a lot of these biracial people, you cannot tell. You know something is off, but you just don't know what it is until they tell you. Look how big the earth is. Why 
Why why is it niggas can't just look down the street and go holler at the next black chick? Why you gotta look elsewhere in another culture? Niggas I've heard stories where niggas is traveling overseas to go get with Spanish, you know, Latin women from like the South America areas like the Colombias and the Brazils and places like that. Dominic you know, some of them go to the Dominican Republic and trying to pick up these these Spanish chicks. They'll travel a million miles away to go get with another race. And not fuck with their own race. I don't know, man. I should have been going off on this, but I just don't feel like going off right now. My my spirit not there right now to be going in like that. But I should have been going in on this on this video. But I just think I'm not going to say it's wrong, but it's definitely not right. And your kid is only going to be confused. Especially if y'all relationship don't work out. Because now the kid got to pick and choose what side he, he want to operate from. The black or the white side. And then when this biracial kid goes out in society and he looks in the middle, black and white, and he say, say he's, um, you know, um, say he's more in tune with his white side and he's expressing himself like that, a lot of black people are going to judge him. And on the flip side, if he's, you know, expressing from a black perspective, a lot of white people are going to judge him. Completely unfair and completely not his fault. Your fault. The parents. Because you thought the other race was better than your own fucking race. A lot of these dark-skinned black niggas too, y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all are the main ones that want to stick your dick into a white person because you don't want to make a baby that's black as you. That's dark as you. You're, you are a disgrace to your mother. Just know that. I'm done.